laughed that he said 350 I said good morning guys welcome to my channel ah, i'm back filming it's so crazy like i haven't recorded a video in so long but welcome to a weekend in my life if you guys are new here my name is robin welcome to my channel i post vlogs beauty fashion a lot of random content <laughs> But if you are new here, go ahead and click that subscribe button to join my little YouTube family. As I mentioned, I will be filming a weekend in my life. I really, really, really love vlogging and I want to post more vlogs for you guys. I don't really be doing much, but I love watching vlogs because I love seeing inside of people's lives. Like, I am nosy. So, hopefully you guys are nosy just like me and you care to see the random stuff that I be doing on the weekends. Because I really okay i really don't do nothing during the week but on the weekends i tend to live a little bit i just go to target tj maxx the grocery store that's like the highlight of my weekends but me personally i love watching that type of content so i want to produce more content like that for you guys so it is saturday morning it is about 11 almost 12 o'clock as you guys saw i already got my car washed i have a whole to-do list because if i don't make a list on the weekends i either well, I just don't remember what I'm supposed to be doing and then it's not a productive weekend. And in 2021, your girl is trying to be intentional and be very productive and use my time wisely. So, I'm about to go into Target because I need to pick up a few stuff. Um, I go on a trip next week. I mean, I say a trip like it's somewhere special. <laughs> I go on a trip next week and I just need to pick up a few little things. But you know, it's Target, so... It's really no telling what I'm about to get. Like, you just go into Target, you let Target tell you what you need. It's no list, just vibes, okay? No list, just vibes. So, I'm trying not to spend over $50. And in Target, you walk out with two things and spend $50. So, you already know how that goes. But I just wanted to say welcome to the vlog. Give this video a big thumbs up. Help your girl out. And let's go. Yeah, I'm back. I already went into Target, forgot to vlog, went to the hair store, forgot to vlog. I'm just a terrible vlogger, but <laughs> I'm working on it. Okay, guys, I'm working on it. I'm actually in the parking lot. Can I help you? Can I help you? This man is literally looking at me in my car. Anyways, I'm in the parking lot at T-Mobile because I have an appointment at 1 o'clock. And I'm looking inside and it is so packed in there. It's just so crazy. I guess we could do a little Target haul. I'll show you guys what I got if you care. <laughs> so I got the Sonia Kashuk sponge that I mentioned. This is my favorite sponge. You get two sponges for $7 and they are so big, y'all. So really good investment. I got some deodorant. I use the Degree Motion Sense deodorant. I know they say like this type of deodorant is bad for you, but I cannot do the natural deodorant like... I do not want to smell funky like that's my biggest pet peeve and I am just so nervous to like try an all-natural deodorant so if you know a good one that's not gonna make me smell funky by the middle of the day let me know but other than that I'm gonna be using my degree and then I got some aquaphor lip repair because I suffer from severe chapped lips like if I leave my chapstick home one day, my day is ruined or I have to turn around and go back and get my chapstick. Like I cannot leave the house without some type of chapstick. That's why I have one in my nightstand, I have one in my car, I have one in my wallet. Like inside the actual wallet, I have one inside of my actual purse. You gotta stay strapped. Stay strapped, stay ready so you don't have to get ready, okay? And then I got some booty wipes. <laughs> It's just some toilet paper wipes, you know, because sometimes toilet paper just don't be cleaning you the way you need to be cleaned, okay? So you need that extra wipe. But yeah, y'all, my appointment was at 1. It's 106. <laughs> so you know, the appointment did not go well. So I went in there and I was like, yeah, I want to upgrade to either to the 12 Pro Max because I used to have an 8 Plus. I love having a big phone, so I really wanted it back. 
And you can tell by how fast I came out that that appointment did not go well. He hit me with the smooth, it's $350 to upgrade to a 12 Pro Max. I said, sir, last time I came in here and I upgraded, it was like $30. Then he was like, oh, if you want to upgrade to the 12, it's only $40. But the 12 Pro Max, $350. <laughs> I said, sir, miss me with that. Oh, your girl is not paying $350. I never walked out of a store so fast, bro. I walked out of that store so fast. After he said $350, I said, have a nice day. I'm at Home Goods. I. I need to pick up a few things because I was supposed to be moving into my own space but that didn't work out so I am just trying to make the space that I have right now as homey as possible so that I can enjoy it because I want my home and my room and my current space to just be like a place where I can unwind and relax so I just need to pick up a few things I have my old furniture my old decoration like already in there and my room is a vibe but I just need to add a little bit more stuff to make it like more organized and make it a little bit more of a retreat so I'm at home goods and then when I move in the summer I'll just take all my stuff into my new space um, because the things I'm gonna be purchasing I'm purchasing it with the future in mind so that I can reuse and repurpose it so we're going home goods this is my favorite place in the whole wide world so I will see you guys in home goods hopefully I'll vlog because I'm still shy when it comes to vlogging in not really shy just kind of annoyed because people just don't mind their business but anyways i'm tired i don't want this to be a car vlog like i mentioned Say hi to the vlog room, yo. Guys, look at his little turtleneck. <laughs> I'm back home. Home goods did not have what I was looking for. It was just so many people and I didn't get what I needed. But show you guys a little haul. I went to Five Below and I just got a screen protector and a 10 foot charger. I really needed one of these. Cause sometimes when you're laying down and you wanna charge your phone, the charger is just not long enough for the way you need to lay to be comfortable. <laughs> and then I went to Target and I got a planner and I got some felt tip pens. I don't know about you guys, but I'm a big planner girl. I know a lot of people don't really use planners, but I love me a good planner. I use them majority of the months in the book. And I just like planners. And then I'm gonna do a look on boxing. <laughs> This is a uh, two part of my Christmas gift from my best friend. Um, if you're watching this, Jen, love you girl. Um, <laughs> she actually got me like a little purse and a phone case, but she got the wrong size phone case. So I had to go exchange it. She got me an 11 Pro Max and I just have a normal 11. So the case was a little too big for my phone. So I switched it out for the right one. Isn't it cute? You can't really see on camera. Let me let me let me let me turn the light. Can you see? Okay, you can't really see, but it's like red and purple and white little hearts. It's like a silicone type material, so it's like really soft but hard at the same time. So I'm gonna change out my current case. There's nothing wrong with it, but I want to wear the one that my bestie got me. And I'm also gonna put my screen protector on so I don't crack my screen. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I am notorious for cracking my phone. I literally cracked the same phone screen three times. Well, no, it wasn't the same phone screen because I kept getting it repaired, but I just kept cracking it every time I got it repaired. So I literally had to get like an outer box phone case and thank God I got that because my phone, I was still dropping it, but it wasn't cracking. 
So hopefully now that I'm switching out my own case, uh, this is not a bad idea, but I really want to wear this cute case that my friend got me. If I could get it opened without cutting myself. There we go. Show you guys inside of the planner. I'm in the kitchen. <laughs> but yeah, so it has a monthly view, which I love. This lighting is so bad. Is it better over here? No, okay, we're just gonna have to work with this. It has a monthly overview. So like you can put your list of notes or to-dos for the month, the typical monthly standard overview, and then inside for the weekly view. And I love planners that have both the monthly view and the weekly view. It is so cute. It has right here, it says like this week's top three, which kind of reminded me of this girl I follow on Instagram. Her name's Erin on demand. She just made like a top three planner, but I didn't have to buy that because it was a little expensive. <laughs> but it has top three things that you want to accomplish for the week. And then you can put the day stuff that you need to accomplish. And then it has like a to do list for that specific day. Um, so I like that. Good morning, you guys. It is Sunday morning and it is about 11.15. We are actually going to brunch. I'm so excited because I haven't been to brunch in so long. Um, so we're going downtown to this place called Stubborn Mule. I'm all done up. I just have my hair in this little sleek bun. If you know me, this is like one of my top two favorite hairstyles. I love, love, love a sleep bun. Got a little makeup action going on because <laughs> I have not worn makeup to go out since New Year's Eve. But before that, I think since like October. So I'm stoked to be wearing some makeup today. Let me show you guys my outfit. So cute. Okay, so I'm just wearing this turtleneck. Sorry for the bad lighting. Just wearing this turtleneck from Pretty Little Thing and my new favorite jeans, Good Morning Romeo, from Fashion Nova. And they're these high-waisted light blue wash jeans. They have a little slit on the side. I'm not a big fan of like flared jeans, but this is giving me everything I need. And I got these in a size nine, and they're a little bit too big in the back. But I'm gonna have that tailored when I go home next week. I'm gonna bring it to my seamstress outfit. And I'm wearing it with these Claire Mules from Fashion Nova as well. But you guys, I couldn't decide on what shoe to wear. Um, so let me get your opinion. I mean, by the time you answer, the brunch would have already been done. But I still want to know what you guys think. So when I rewear this outfit, because I wear outfits more than once, I'm sorry. When I rewear this outfit, I want to know if I can rock these other pairs of shoes. So I was going to wear my sock boot, but me and Madison both agreed that the mules looked better than the boots. But I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. I probably would have to like put it on for you to see. Okay, I'm not in the mood to do that. <laughs> This is my outfit, and I'm just wearing my everyday jewelry from Vibe Season. It's my name necklace and my birth year necklace. <laughs> what? He said I should get a necklace with the last four of my socials since I already have all my business on my jewelry. Ha ha ha. Guys, we are back from brunch. 
quick little outfit change because we have a few errands to run you want to check out the thrift store we need to go to the grocery store so we're gonna hit up Trader Joe's and I wanted to take some more pictures cuz he did a great job today and he got me right so I have some content but I want to take a few more pictures so that I could have some stuff to upload during the week because I'm really really trying to be consistent on Instagram so I'm gonna try to get some flicks today so I just changed into like this one piece from Fashion Nova and I'm wearing this corduroy shirt from Nasty Gal and I have on my favorite sneakers right now these are some Air Maxes and I'm just rocking the same bag from earlier today so where are we going first to um, Avalon so we're gonna go to the thrift store then Trader Joe's no thrift store take some pictures Trader Joe's and I will see you guys when we get back. I got this on my shirt. I can't see. I'm talking to the vlog. Go yard, D wagon, or a rover. I put some ice on you because you gotta go. I know I gotta keep my shot in your go. Got that ass too slow. Trader Joe's. I am back from Trader Joe's. I was vlogging. I don't really know how much footage I got because I'm still nervous about vlogging like in public by myself. Like when I have somebody else with me, I don't really care. Like I'll whip out the camera and I'll get the footage. But like when I'm by myself, <laughs> I turn into a square and then like I just don't like people staring at me. Like when I see other like YouTubers, well, I don't really consider myself a YouTuber. But when I see other people like vlogging, I mind my business because I, I don't care. But I hate when people just like literally stare at you. And then you know like when you stare back, you think they're going to look away? No, they keep staring and it's very uncomfortable. So anyways, I'm just going to do a quick haul. I'm going to show you guys what I got from Trader Joe's. Keep in mind, I travel next week so I didn't really get a lot of stuff because... I'm not going to be here to eat it. But yeah, I just got some salmon. I always get the fresh salmon from Trader Joe's. I got these tortilla chips. I'm kind of interested to try them. It's like cassava and coconut tortilla chips. It's grainless. So it's a lot better than eating like regular tortilla chips. And then I just got one potato because I already have some. So I didn't need to get a lot more for the week. I just got a bag of broccoli because I already have one bag. So I didn't need to get more than one and then I'm trying the buffalo chicken dip I've heard a lot of people talk about this so I'm very excited to try it I plan to make like a little snack plate with the broccoli the dip the tortillas and I also got some carrots I got some alfredo sauce because I want to make salmon alfredo I'm sorry but when it comes to like my pasta sauces and my alfredo sauces I just get the normal stuff and just Comp that into like my meal of the week, like a cheat type of meal, because those other like healthy alternative for the Alfredo sauce tastes really nasty, and we're not having that. And then I just got this turkey club wrap because I'm gonna eat this for lunch tomorrow. I have a very busy day, and I have not meal prepped, and I don't plan to meal prep tonight because I'm tired. <laughs> And I went out all day, so I usually meal prep during the day, but it's too late to do that now. And then I got these two shots because I travel next week, like I mentioned. So your girl needs to get her immunization cookies up, okay? I need to step it up. I got these two shots to take tomorrow. I also got some orange juice just to get some extra vitamin C. And then I got this chicken Caesar salad I'm going to eat for dinner tonight with a burrito that I have. And then I just got some fresh cut fruits because, again, I'm not going to be here next week. I didn't want to overbuy and then it goes bad. I just got one lemon because I already had, I have another lemon, so I didn't need to get Hello Lemons. And then I just got a bag of frozen green beans, which it's frozen, so it will be in the fridge. I mean, it'll be in the freezer. When I get back, so whatever I don't use, I'll just seal it up in a Ziploc bag and it will be good to use. And then lastly, I got these maple chicken breakfast sausages. I really want to try this because I've seen other people on YouTube talk about it. So I want to try it. I usually just get like regular turkey sausage but from like Publix. But Trader Joe's didn't have that. So I'm going to try this maple chicken breakfast sausage 
fingers crossed it tastes good and then i just got two pizzas these are not for me these are for madison um although i might eat a slice if he makes it when i'm home <laughs> and then also what i got from the grocery store is this cute little pomp ski his name is romeo all right you guys so i packed the groceries all right you guys so i packed the groceries away now i'm gonna wash my face like i said i would look at me being accountable look at me being responsible holding myself accountable <laughs> your girl's a rapper okay but anyways why do i keep turning on the water while i'm talking to you guys that's very rude i'm sorry i am going to take off my makeup and i wanted to show you guys what i use because it is the goat so i have been double cleansing as of lately because the makeup gods said that that is the key to flawless skin uh because your regular face wipes and your regular face wash it's just not cutting it it doesn't get everything off so to take off my makeup i have been using this product sorry it's dirty but I use it to take off my makeup. It's called the Oat Cleansing Balm. And it's by the brand The Inky List. This was literally $10. But it is the best $10 that I have ever spent. They sell it at Sephora as well as online. And it helps remove makeup and cleanse. And it's for sensitive skin. So you just wet your face a little bit. And you rub this in thoroughly. And then you go ahead and follow up with your regular skincare routine. Don't you hate when you have like a really good makeup day and you have to like take off your face? That's a sad, sad day. But anyways, I'm going to wash my face now. Okay, you guys. Face is clean. I didn't take the ponytail out yet because I want to reuse the rubber bands. And every time I take my ponytails out, <laughs> I tend to just pop them. And I'm running low on scrunchies, so I need to preserve them. But... I'm just going to eat my dinner and then I'm going to start editing this vlog like I said. For dinner, I'm having a very random meal. I am having a chicken burrito that I was eating yesterday and a Caesar salad. And I have my handy dandy water. But I just wanted to hop on here really quickly and end this vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it all the way to the end, make sure you guys are hitting that red subscribe button to join my little YouTube family. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. Love you guys.